Hello movie lovers all over the world, this is your boy Testify to the Music, aka Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another movie review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2016 film The Jungle Book, which was directed by Mr. John Favreau and was produced by Walt Disney Studios and written by Justin Marks. Now of course, uh, a lot of us, we have all grew up with the animated version of The Jungle Book. And this is the same story that was adapted from the original uh, Rudyard Kipling's uh, book talking about an orphan child who was left in the jungle and was ultimately saved by a panther and was raised by wolves and later on had to go back to his man village because there was a crazed tiger named Shere Khan trying to hunt him down. That's pretty much the premise of the movie. Again, most of us, I'm assuming you've seen the animated version or have at least heard about it or read the story of the Jungle Book. But today in this movie review, all I'm simply going to do is just give my general thoughts on what I thought about the film as a whole. And I'm going to list some things that I liked and disliked about the film. And of course, this is a non-spoilers review, so you guys don't have to worry about me spoiling anything for you in the movie. But with that being said, let's hop straight into the review. And first off, just giving my overall thoughts on the movie, I have to say, my expectations were very high for this film because from what I had heard weeks prior from other critics and from other friends that had seen the movie a little earlier than I did, my expectations were really high for this film. And I can honestly say after seeing it yesterday, my expectations were blown out of, the, out of the park. Literally, this movie was a great adaptation of the original source material. I liked it. I loved it. I actually enjoyed it more so than I did the animated version. And I am a huge, huge fan and supporter of the animated version. I watched it when it first came out. And I remember how great it was back then. But just seeing what what they've done now with it and the story and I just like it was really compelling and I also saw this in IMAX and uh, if you don't know I, I recommend you watching this in IMAX or IMAX 3D get all that you can out of this I know it's a little bit of an extra money uh, but, but get the most out you can out of this film because this is an absolutely beautiful film but moving straight into the things that I liked about the film the first thing I want to talk about is the realism of the film one thing that I was wondering about this new one is, again, this is a live action uh, version of this as opposed to an animated version. So I was wondering how the animals would look, how it would transfer over onto the big screen and everything. And I got to say, that's one of the strongest things about this film is the realism in this film. And then this also ties into what I like about it. Also, the second thing, the, the actual cinematography or the set build you know, it looks so real, it looks so vivid, you would actually think you were in the rainforest. But this was shot, this was shot in an actual Hollywood studio. So you would think, hey, these guys actually went to the jungle. No, this was completely done green screen. And I got to say, it just looks beautiful. It was spot on. I didn't find any flaws or anything I saw wrong with it. Again, the, the cinematography here is just so beautiful from the s different set pieces, to where you're hanging out with to the wolves, down to the watering hole, even down to Baloo's cave, and where King Louie is, you can just tell the amount of detail and artwork that went into this film. Another thing that I liked about it is I liked how it stayed true to the source material, but took a different approach getting to the climax of the film. One of the things that I was wondering uh, when I was watching this film was, was it going to take the same route that the animated version did? Was it just going to be pretty much like a step-by-step -step remake of the animated version, but just live action this time? And I can honestly say that they followed a lot of the same trends and things that they did in the animated version, but they went about it in a different way where they changed certain things, but still stayed true to the source material of the book that, that Kipling had wrote. And so I got to say, again, leading up to the climax of the film, it was just a great build-up. It was a great setup. I absolutely loved it. And again, you know, I, I thought it was going to be exactly paid remake, pretty much, of the animated version, like scene by scene. You have the talking vultures talking about this. You have Shere Khan making these types of moves. No, it was completely different completely a new reimagining but again stay true to the source material another thing i like 
is they had a good use of character development. Uh, now what? And I will also this leads into the character motivations. I like how they were explained in this film. The one thing that they didn't do in the animated version is they didn't do a very good job of explaining everybody's motives, like why everybody was going after Mowgli or why everybody had such a special interest in Mowgli. In this film, you can tell why the wolves care about Mowgli. You can tell why the wolf, the mother wolf, is so protective of Mowgli and why she cares about him. You get a reason for why Bagheera is so protective of Mowgli. You get a reason of why Shere Khan is so angry and so hateful against the man cub and why he wants to take out Mowgli. You even get uh, good references of why Baloo is the way he is and why his motivations end up leading to him and Mowgli being close. And the same thing could be said by King Louie. All the motivations and their intentions were perfectly explained in this. The only thing that really wasn't explained in here was Ka's motivations, but again, Ka was such a small part of this film. Scarlett Johansson did a great job voicing Ka. I actually loved Ka when he came on screen, but he wasn't used for very long. So I can give that a little pass about, you know, his motivations not necessarily being explained because, again, he wasn't that big part of a film. Um, this leads me into the next part of the thing that I like, the voice actors. I have to say this was perfect casting. Uh, everyone down from Ben Kingsley to Bill Murray as Baloo to Scarlett Johansson as Ka to Idris Elba as Shere Khan. Idris Elba, his Shere Khan was, I dare say, better than the original Shere Khan version in the animated version. This guy was angry. This guy was pissed. You could tell that he was ticked and that he wanted Mowgli to be gone. You could actually see the fear in Mowgli's eyes, you could actually hear the power and the death and the anger inside of Shere Khan's voice. And I have to commend Idris Elba on his voice talent skills for doing that. Because, again, with the other one, it just seemed more like a just a British guy who was like a little bit cranky. No, this guy, Idris Elba, you can tell that the way he was watching Shere Khan, Shere Khan was pissed and was out for blood. You could tell he was extremely angered and motivated in this. And then, and then of course, you know, Ben Kingsley uh, as Bagheera, perfect casting. Uh, Bill Murray, I have to say Bill Murray, I literally did not know it was Bill Murray. I knew Bill Murray was in the film and I knew who he was voicing Baloo, but when, as soon as Baloo came onto the screen, it's like Bill Murray wasn't even there. I was just listening to Baloo talk. And that's one thing I have to say about Walt Disney, especially in most recent years, they are hitting it out of the park with their voice actors that they pick to voice these different characters, whether it be in the Walt Disney Studio or the Pixar Studio. These guys are, know how to pick vocal talent, and they pick people who fit the character. It's not like they just throw someone and say, oh, you're an A-lister, I'm just going to throw you at this character. No, they pick characters based solely on what the actor's prowess is like and what their voice is like and base that character around them. You heard me mention this uh, with Jason Bateman um and his portrayal of nick wilde in zootopia uh he how he just brought that presence to nick wilde and how it was just a, a perfect casting for that role and that's one thing i gotta say that's another strong point that the jungle book knocked out their voice casting was definitely on par uh and leading to the last thing i liked here but certainly there was a lot more to talk about but just for video purposes i want to keep this kind of short but the last thing i want to talk about that i like was the emotional build you know, I like how the director made us care about the different characters and explained to us what was happening and we were getting backstory on each of the characters, but at the same time, we really were invested in these characters. Like, I can honestly say the animated version did not make me cry. I was invested in Mowgli and I was invested in all of the characters in there, but not as invested as I was in this live action version and again that could be because it's live action and it's so real i found myself being brought to tears in certain scenes uh and again i'm this is non-spoilers but just certain scenes with shere khan and and his presence and how he was going after mowgli i could and how he was trying to t go after his family and just trying to take mowgli i could just really feel the depth i could feel the character 
in here for that. I just really felt emotional and I felt a real emotional attachment. I think the audience felt the same way because I asked a lot of the people coming out of the movie theater what did they think about it and one of the thing, all things that we agreed on unanimously was how invested and how much we cared about these individual characters. These, we cared about what happened to Baloo. We cared about what would happen to King Louie. We cared about Shere Khan. We, we cared about Mowgli and we cared about his family. We just really got an emotional investment in here. And I really like that. So leading into the list of things that I didn't dislike. And I originally only had one thing listed on here. But I actually, after doing this review, I actually have something else listed. And again, these are minor nitpicks. The only thing that I kind of dislike is the two songs that were in here. Or the songs that were in here. They weren't utilized as much as the one in the animated version. Um, it was fine, you know, the one in the animated version was a little more live, a little more swingish, had a little bit more of a groove to it. These versions, it seemed more, less swingish and more so doo I should say. It wasn't really moving, you know, like the other versions were moving. Um, and then the only other thing I could say that I didn't like is I didn't like how they didn't really, they didn't really touch upon any of the other humans uh in this film because there were other humans in this uh in the man cub village or in the man village they really didn't you know go into detail about them but again i understand that's fine because really we're all we're supposed to be invested in mowgli so they only show little clippets here and there uh of the man village which i i understand and everything because that was a actually a main part of why they were there at the man village in the first place but with that being said, guys, given my, again, my general thoughts on it, I love the film. I had a great experience watching it in IMAX. I absolutely loved it. I found myself crying. I found myself getting into it. I found myself cheering. I haven't gotten this emotionally invested in a film, I want to say honestly, since Star Wars. Because when Star Wars, when I saw it uh, early premiere night, I just remember how how... It was, I was so joyous and how I was crying in certain parts and, and how emotionally invested I was. I haven't been that emotionally invested like that, honestly, since since Star Wars. And this film did that. The Jungle Book hit all of the heartstrings. It plucked all of it. You really cared about these characters. And I have to say, that film, this film was phenomenal. Again, it was a great experience. And I know you'll enjoy it if you give it a chance. But me, for me personally, I'm going to have to give this film a 5 out of 5 stars. Everything here was up to par. Again, there was really no dislikes for this film. Just little nitpicky ones. But if you look past those, like I'm, I'm looking past those, then I can tell you that you will definitely walk out of this knowing and giving this movie a five out of five stars or whatever you would give it out of 10. Uh, I can just tell that everybody would enjoy this film. This is a film for everybody. You can go into this film not knowing what the Jungle Book is or what it's about and you'll get a great vivid description and picture of what exactly is being going what is actually is being said here, what the main story is, who the main characters are. You could go in with no knowledge of that and you'd be able to ultimately walk out with, with a great understanding just like somebody else who has read the novels before or seen the animated version who knows the story. You could walk out knowing just as much as they do, if not more. So again, I give the film a 5 out of 5 stars, but I'm curious to know have you seen the movie yet? And if you have, what do you think of the movie? What exactly did and didn't you like about the movie? And do you plan to see it in theaters? And again, if you do, I recommend you seeing it in IMAX or IMAX 3D. It's actually worth the extra few dollars. I know, again, when it comes to IMAX and 3D, it gets a little pricey. But to see this film in its entirety and how it was sculpted out and just the beautiful cinematography of everything that was going on here again i gotta recommend you see it in imax or 3d if you're unable to afford those then regular standard is just fine but again post your thoughts in the comment section below what did you think about this film also if you like this video and review make sure you smash that like button also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll get more movie reviews like this I'll be coming out with my Barbershop 3 back to, or the next, I'll be coming with my next review, which is most likely going to be Barbershop, the next cut. 
I'm hoping to get that up sometime next week when I get a chance to go see the film. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Again, thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you all have a blessed evening. And again, thank you so much for the support. This is your boy Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, saying peace out.